I think he had other people that were, uh, you know, in the top tier of society in terms of the elite doing shit with him too. And he had dirt on them so he could pull strings and felt kind of invincible. Hey, yo, what up, bro? What's good with y'all? Back with another one today. Keeping it light, keeping it tight, keeping it right, keeping it bright. These O-rings, these lights, not the funnest for the eyes, but necessary for the food. Speaking of which, Greek salad. A favorite on the channel over here is some Wangs. I haven't seen them yet. I just got them from a local spot called Golden Bakery. And together, we're going to see the treasure unfold. Okay. Oh, steam. So I've never had wings from here. This will be a first. I got mild. They look more of a uh, not crispy, just like a more kind of baked dish and seasoned very well. They smell delicious. Could tell you that for free. <laughs> and we also have a Greek salad. There you go. Feta, olives, and all that good stuff. All right, y'all. I got the wings situated. I got the salad ready here. That was a whole catastrophe fiasco. This is a Greek salad, so we have Greek dressing. It is a oil-based one, no, not a creamy, which is a mild bummer. Uh, what isn't, though, a mild bummer is how much they provided. This is a good amount of dressing for this salad. I hate when they skimp on the dressing. So we got that done, and then before we do anything more, we must pour, but we're keeping it a little healthier today. I got my pitcher of water. Some ice. I was just feeling like I needed something lighter, healthier, more fresh. You know what I mean? We have to start with a wing, I think. You know, as much as uh, salads are delicious to me, I think uh, let's not waste any time and see what this is about. I'm going to try it straight up because I want to know what their, their mild sauce tastes like. Man. That is a delicious wing. So different. From the style that I make for myself. But man, that mild sauce is popping. And the way they've uh, seasoned this with the herbs. And it's like, it's like a roast style wing. Mm-hmm. Not crunchy. The cartilage is. Like the skin's not crunchy. But it's so flavorful and cooked right that I don't miss it. Mm. These are great. From a local spot, like I said, Golden Bakery. I've had the pizza a few times on the channel. Very like homegrown style pizza. Mom and Pop Shop. That's their whole food vibe, anyways. They do like meatball subs and things like that. Italian classics, basically. Your guy craves a good salad. Greek being 
one of my favorite. And their dressing right now, absolutely killer. I do prefer a creamy Greek, but I can still mess with a uh, oil and vinegar. Oh man. The way that the onions and the olives and the tomato. And the feta work together as friends. It's a beautiful thing. Very beautiful thing. Should we do a Quantran? Get in my mouth. <laughs> Get right in there. <laughs> ASMR Ranch. Man, this seasoning and this mild sauce is unreal. I can't believe how good it is. We'll definitely get it again. I gotta try their meatball sub. I've been looking at it. Definitely next on the hit list for sure. So, speaking of hit list, did Jeffrey Epstein kill himself or was he hit? <laughs> So here's the thing with the whole Jeffrey Epstein thing. I'm sure most of you probably know about it, who he is, what I'm talking about. Have learned about it. To some degree. The thing is with me is I'm just getting privy to the shit. And uh, <clears throat> I am like floored by it all. It's very interesting. And appalling and crazy. But uh, I've heard the name... Weinstein and Epstein and shit being tossed around and this whole meme about this guy Epstein kill himself or not I never really knew what any of this was about Cuz Yes, I kind of do live under a rock I personally uh, curate my world to only allow like brain food kind of thing. So I don't have traditional cable TV. I never would again because it's just 
poison. Especially the news, the news sources are just poison. And a lot of times, just drivel and lies and nonsense. You know, provided to you by different political party agendas. Which I don't really pay attention to much of that. Because I'm under the belief that you should curate your world per day with what you want in it. So good energy, good information. You know, I listen to a lot of podcasts, watch documentaries. And I listen to like Alan Watts philosophy stuff. I listen to Terrence McKenna. Podcast with interesting people. Uh, or I spend time learning about how to get better at business stuff via the internet. And also how to use my technology better. How to, how to edit better, how to microphones, cameras, all that stuff. Get better at music production. So I don't spend a lot of time in regular media, so I didn't really know of this Jeff Epstein story or really who he was. So I pop on Netflix recently just to see if there's any decent documentaries because it's a, it's a decent source for, docu for documentaries. And on there was uh, Jeffrey Epstein, Filthy Rich. If you like documentaries and you have not watched it, go watch it. It's a good watch. It's crazy. And basically, it's just this dude who seemingly just manipulated and weaseled and lied his way. I mean, he was smart too, obviously, but his way into like great success and being a billionaire and a socialite, hanging out with presidents, athletes, Famous people, actors. And he ultimately was running like this pedophile, sexy, sex trafficking type st style ring, mainly for his own self interest. But I think he had other people that were. Uh, you know, in the top tier of society in terms of the elite. Doing shit with him too. And he had dirt on them. So he could pull strings and felt kind of invincible in that world. Anyways, to me, it was just a very good, like, interesting watch. Um, obviously, a bit of a weird watch. Going to make you feel some type of way. For the victims and everything, but... Beyond the victims and that, it made me more think about those crazy upper class elites and like all that seedy 
evil kind of satanic like ritualistic type shit that they do behind closed doors like when you have that much money right you like can get away with so much crazy shit you can buy your way out of jail you can buy people off to not get, go against you in court just a lot, a lot of wild stuff but it's mainly interesting in that regard to me because like I said a lot of I will watch a lot of like rabbit hole off the beaten path type shit and uh, excuse the water running that is the the washing machine but I've watched tons of documentaries on YouTube about um, the cabal satanic rituals and influence in like the elite and in Hollywood um, Freemasonry you know Aleister Crowley shit and uh, you can watch all that stuff and be persuaded it's fun to believe in and I'm sure a lot of it's probably pretty true. But like watching this Epstein documentary and just seeing the people that he was involved with, Bill Clinton and stuff like that. He used to hang out with uh, Trump a lot. And to see him being one of these people that those documentaries basically try to expose the ones about pedophilia and in the elite in Hollywood and shit like that. Sex trafficking. To like actually see a documentary that basically just shows proof that that was happening. was just like very captivating to me because I've always looked into all that stuff and like learned about it and gone down these rabbit holes but never with any like real definitive evidence But that there pretty much shows and is convincing. Once again, sorry for this insane washer that finally just shut up. But, hey, life, these things happen. Those were delicious. I want to just keep licking the sauce. It's so good. If you haven't watched a documentary and you're not too easily shaken up and offended and going to go off the deep end, give it a watch. Because it's like, it's just a very like captivating watch. You know, it just, it keeps you intrigued. I watched the whole thing in one go. It was four episodes. I think they're like an hour each. I just watched it in one go. So if you're into that vibe, check it out. If not, don't check it out. And uh, till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.